Okay, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be doing the yearly maintenance on a Fearman quiet generator, uh, inverter generator, model Whiskey W2100i. Uh, so here's the maintenance schedule. Now let's look at what we have to do. Oh, and I'm basing it off the hour meter that I have on the generator. It sits at 187 right now, so let's call it 200, uh, even it out, round it off, sorry. So I got to check spark plug. Engine oil, we'll be replacing it. Air filter says every 50, so we got to do the air filter. Air filter needs to be done. Fuel filter, it's very hard to get at, but at least we can do the fuel strainer. Uh, so I'm not really going to do uh, this doesn't need to be done exhaust will be cleaning the spark arrestor quite easy uh, valve adjustments are at 250 hours we're not there yet and components fasteners fittings we've got to make sure everything's tight uh, it's basically just going to be the nuts around it so it'll be quick and dirty after so with further ado this generator has been running it's nice and warm and so it's ready to be tear teared apart uh, tools for the job itself rags cleaners foam filter oil uh, i use royal purple synthetic 1030 uh, phillips screwdriver spark plug tool gauge socket for spark plug ratchet to take it off this is to get my spark arrestor off and it's a 10 mil and gloves and it Check drip pan to pick up the oil. I got two covers to take off this one and this cover. And here's my hour meter. So I said 187, it's actually 182. So let's first let's stick. And like so. Get most of the oil out. Uh, I broke the actual oil clamp, but not a big deal. All it is is this. Quite easy to fix. It's already clean. Grab some brake cleaner or nettoyer the pièce de frein if you're a francophone. Spray it. Let it drip. Hopefully you got an airline. Blow dry it. Done. Put it back in. Put it back. Put the clamp back on. Tighten it, and that's it for that. Spark, uh, now air filter. Take the 10 mil bolt out. I could have used the Phillips screwdriver, but this will do quite well. Bolt to the side. Remove air filter cover. Nice and clean. Look at your air filter. Looks clean. I know I've cleaned this recently, so I don't really need to do any more other than just add a bit of oil, some foam oil. That will be more than enough. Just rub it in once it's all nice and rubbed in grab a light forgot to grab the light make sure that your air box is nice and clean this one's clean we're good the air box cover back on it only goes in on one way 
See this notch? Fits up in here. I don't know if you can see it. And you just squeeze that back in. Take the air fuel line out of the way. Ah, here we go. Put it in. Grab your bolt. And just tighten your bolt back in. Do not, I say this again, do not use power tools. You will strip these things out in a hurry. Pull the spark plug out. Okay, so clean this off with a brush, which I did. Then grab your spark plug wire gauge. Uh, I know this one is 28 to 31. If you don't believe me? That's why the owner's manual, this, right? If you go look at the other page, a little farther behind. Oh, look at this spark plug 28 to 31 or the metric 0 0.7 to 0 0.8 mil. So that's it. So we grab wire 28. Uh, and just put it in. Oh, perfect. Slight drag and we're good. So spark plug gap check. Put spark plug back in the hole. Make sure you start it by hand so you don't cross the threads. Once you're done, give it a slight snug and pull your spark plug tool out. Look at the fuel strainer. Looks good, doesn't look too dirty, still functional. And that's good. Put that back in the hole. Tighten that up. Okay, so one of the tools that I forgot to mention was the funnel to put oil back into the engine. This actually comes with the generator when you get it. So hopefully you kept it. If you don't, well, you rest a well and gotta get one. Not really complicated, just put it in the hole. So the measurement itself says to put it up to H, basically all the way up there. Trick is when the oil starts getting close, when the oil gets to this level, it's on the full. So I know that for a fact. So I'm not gonna bother checking it in and out. As soon as I see oil up to this level, I know my generator's full. My two by four here. My funnel. Grab my oil. Put some oil in it for now. Let it drain from the funnel into the engine. While you're at that, start doing some multitasking, i.e., like put your spark plug back on. This is where you can start checking all your bolts, making sure everything's nice and tight. Engine, valve cover, carburetor. I mean, it's mostly 10 mil, right? So it's nice and tight. Right? Am I going to do all of them? Nope. But I'm going to do a couple while we're here. That's nice and tight. Sorry about that. Carburetor's nice and tight. This is nice and tight, tight, good and tight. We're good. So on this side of the house. So I'm going to drop it slowly. And you see how where it went? All the way up the threads and we're golden. Now time to put this back in. Put the dipstick back in. Put 
Oil change done. Funnel to the side. We need to put a cover on, but before we do that, let's give this a wipe. Put set cover. Grab at least one screw. Hold cover in place. Grab the rest of them. Get them going first. That way you're not Try screwing it. or bolting. So oh, sorry about that again. So this is the last one. And tight. Nice and tight. Good and tight. Nice. Nice. Broken cover for the spark plug. Slide it in. I need to get some tape of the electrical persuasion. Oh, I think my electrical tape's seen better days. And get the knife out. Slice it off. Make it nice and neat. Do the top part. Nice. That's it, folks. Oh, nope. Now I'm going to make sure all the other screws are nice and tight. Making screws are tight. This is tight. Good. If I get this nice and good. Good. Front end. Tight. 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 Nice and tight. I don't know if you can see that, but good. It's a bolt to bolt. That's tight. It's tight. You have your 10 mil. One there. It's nice and good. And that's good. That works. That works. If you're at it, muzzle well check your cable, your rope for your starter. It's all good. It's all the way out, so it's not gonna break on you anytime soon. One thing I didn't show, but when it was running outside, I checked to see if I had power. I do. Power at 12 volt. My eco mode switch works, and of course my on off works. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching.